Hello. Thank you. My new EP tattoo is coming out and it's a three track. It's a very literal name for, for a project. It's a three track EP. Um, I have three songs in there. One is called Mama na Baba. That's for all the parents and anyone who's trying to be one. Um, I have Nyamaza. That's about mental health, cyberbullying, just allowing us to reflect what that's about. And then the last one is called Niko Manju. For anyone who's traveling, Kwanza in this economy, those of you who are going to look for opportunities, this journey is for you. Yeah. Musically, I would say, I think my voice is in, a, in the best place it's ever been. Power-wise and everything. But I also feel like my music is more meaningful than um, I would say. I think I'm very intentional with what I say, who I say to, how I say it. I think I'm very intentional. So it has stopped being just writing songs. Not that I was doing that really, but just writing songs for the sake of writing, but just making it meaningful, yeah. Ask anyone in my life. God. <laughs> Anybody in my life will tell you. Um, imagine, Mimi ni wale mama wa those videos where to you, there's a mama praying for their child in their sleep. I am that mama. It's me, it is I. I am those people. I'm extra with my prayers. I love to pray. It centers me, it re-centers me. Secondly, I have a very great support system. I have people in my life who love me for me. People who hold space for me. And thirdly, I take breaks. I take breaks. Like I, I get off social media, I go, I go live. Yeah, that's how I say I do it been almost lucky enough not to be in that space um, where I have felt like other because I'm a female artist but on the very maybe day to day menial way I would say just interacting with but I think this is a bit general interacting with people who just don't wish you well yeah I would say that would, that, that has been a challenge in the past yeah. yeah the future of Kenyan music is bright guys um, they are so... Gosh, let me even start by shouting out Kinoti, Ethan Muziki. That's the future. Those people are people... To me, it wows me that what was considered an alternative sound in Kenya when I was an active artist, like seven years ago, something that was considered different is now something that ca can come into the mainstream. That Kinoti as an artist, for example, would grow through Spotify and to me, it blows my mind. I love the evolution. I love what technology is doing for us, how this connectivity with the world is doing for us in our space. And I love how we're just authentically ourselves because we are a cocktail of many things. We're a cocktail of indie artists, of soul artists, of gangeton artists. It's a beautiful cocktail. So I think the future is, I think the future has variety. Yeah. Wow. I'm currently feeling the color green. For some reason, I love green. Everything around me that's green is speaking my language. Number two, I love to bum. Bum is my. I'm, I don't. I don't do a lot of outing, so staying home and bumming is premium, premium self care for me. And number three, driving is my best hobby. I love to drive. Driving, driving clears my head, allows me to breathe. I listen to a lot of like sermons and podcasts while driving. It's my safe space. Fashion influences are, I don't know if I can say one person, but I think I usually find inspiration from a lot of things. Maybe I can say that I love African uh, elements, always try to keep, give it like an African twist. I love experimenting, being a little bit edgy, um, trying out new things. I do this hair and I'm like, hmm, I guess it works and I feel fine to walk out the door without fearing someone might judge me. Um, yeah. I'd say, yeah, uh, experimental, edgy, and definitely the touch of Africa. Um, I think this is a personal decision because you know best. Uh, you know best, your family goals and values are yours. Um, I think the, the baseline is just to always be cautious in terms of looking out for things that might put your child in a detrimental space. But other than that, I think that decision lies with you and your family values, yeah. Yeah. So personally, I don't mind. Um, I think I'm warming up to that idea. I'm testing it out as I go. That was crazy. This song is the song that keeps on giving. 
I, you know, I, I wonder if I've played myself here. You know how like uh, to this Dibia has African queen, and then that's his job. I really wonder if I've played myself, but like um, I'm so happy that there's this thing that people consider a classic, but they hold on to it and they still go back to it. Every time I go to the comments on YouTube, someone was there one week ago, and it's seven years later. So I guess enjoy, <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> <laughs>